We're taking these 3D CAT scans, if you will, and this is a 3D CAT scan of Hurricane Katrina, looking at the different layers of rain intensity. Uh, like peeling away the layers of an onion, we can look at the, the light rains on the outside and the heavy rains inside the core. We can also look at the vertical structure of these clouds. And you see these very, very giant clouds. You heard in the video, these are called chimney clouds. These are very deep thunderstorm clouds, and they lead to rapid intensification of a hurricane. Now, Another example of a chimney cloud we will see is that for Hurricane Bonnie. Now, Bonnie was a powerful storm in 1998. This cloud go, goes up to about 12 miles into the atmosphere, which is one of the most giant clouds we've ever measured with this trim satellite. But here's what we found out about these storm clouds, something we didn't know five years ago. They're very, very frequent. They occur early on in the life cycle of many of these storms, okay? Water vapor, which is the fuel, rises up inside, it condenses and forms liquid water inside these giant chimneys. As the water vapor condenses, heat energy is released. Okay, that's what happens when you change the phase of water from vapor to liquid. That warms up the inside of these clouds, and these clouds then buoy up to giant heights. It's like turning on the hot air inside a hot air balloon, and the balloon just goes nuts, okay? Now, the air that goes up must come down, and as it comes down inside the eye of the storm, that air warms up inside the eye of the storm, and that is what creates the heart of the hurricane, which is called the warm core. It only makes sense that the taller these clouds and the longer lived these clouds are, the more energy they are releasing. And when this happens close to the center of circulation, uh, they make the storm intensify. So the thunder clouds are the cylinders of the engine, but these chimney clouds are the turbocharged fuel injected cylinders in a souped up sports car, if you will.